What's up guys, Dad Machine here. Uh, really quick, this is how to do the Rolling Dev Cradle. I said I was gonna do a tutorial and I'm a little late, so I apologize for that. But this is how you do it. So, step number one. We must do the arm breaker. To do the arm breaker, do a dragon punch motion with left punch and right kick together. Uh, whenever you're doing the dragon punch motion, uh, make sure that you put a delay right after you tap forward. So it has to be like, so you tap forward and then like a little short delay and then finish the motion off and then press left punch and right punch. And when you do this, you'll see that Kanga do like a crouch dash motion towards his opponent. So yeah, uh, dragon punch motion, left punch and right kick together. That'll execute the, the arm breaker. Now, as soon as you grab him with the arm breaker, you want to start putting in the commands for the chicken wing face lock. To do this grab, press right punch, left punch, then left punch and left kick together. To help out with Kane chain throws, just keep in putting the command until you see the throw come out. So yeah, chicken wing face lock, right punch, left punch, then left punch and left kick together. All right guys, and then for the final step, you wanna uh, press left punch, left kick, right kick, right punch, and then press left punch and right punch together. And once you input this command, you'll be able to pull off the rolling dove cradle. Now, keep in mind, the only way for you to do the rolling dove cradle is you must do the arm breaker first and then the chicken wing face lock. You cannot do the rolling dove cradle on its own. The rolling dove cradle is the end of a chain throw command and you cannot do it as a singular move. Well, everyone, that's it for this video. If you have anything you'd like to add or if you have a question, feel free to leave a comment. With that being said, I'm Dad Mishima. See you next video.